Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a one brand tutorial featuring all e.l.f. cosmetics products. You guys really liked my last one brand tutorial with Wet n Wild products so I thought I would do kind of the same thing but a different brand. And let's go ahead and get started into the tutorial. For my brows today I'm going to be using the e.l.f liner and brow cream this is in the shade of medium brown i have never used any of elf cosmetics brow products i have a full brow tutorial on how i do my brows so i'll link that below so you guys can check it out it's nice and pigmented and creamy oh so i like it so far and this all of these products are super cheap i think this um dip brow was like three dollars and it's really a dupe for the Anastasia dip brow so I'm here for this so if you guys are looking for something that's comparable to the dip brow but you guys don't want to spend that much definitely check this out to clean up my brows I'm gonna go in with the foundation palette oh these come in light medium and then medium deep and they're really good so if you're like a makeup artist or just someone that needs a lot of different shades I would definitely check them out they're only like six bucks and they're pretty pigmented and they glide on really smoothly yeah these palettes are like super creamy and blendable and I'm just placing this all over my lid. That way we can prep for eyeshadow. Boom. So that's done. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Jackie Ina and Elf Cosmetics J Glow Palette. This was limited edition, unfortunately. But she collaborated with Elf Cosmetics and made this awesome palette. I love Jackie Ina. I mean, like, who doesn't love her? Also, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Elf Prism Eyeshadow. Elf Cosmetics was like just known as the cheap brand but now I mean even though their stuff is still like super cheap it is very good quality so oh do I get a brush in here wait a minute oh no brush all right so I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier setting powder and just set my lids because none of these palettes have a cream shade to set my lid and I'm just doing this so that the eyeshadow goes on nice and smoothly. For my transition shade, I'm going to go in with this J Glow palette and go in with the gray kind of taupey shade. And just apply this in the crease. And this will just allow for all of our eyeshadows to just blend nicely. But yeah, I'm really here for Elf Cosmetics lately. Like, I feel like... Their skincare line is popping. The makeup has really stepped up. Like, Elf is really, like, trying to come through. <laughs> now that we have that blended out, I'm going to go in with this deeper kind of purple brown shade and put that in the outer V. And this palette was, like, six bugs. And as you guys can see, it's super pigmented. Looking at this palette I feel like these last four shades look the exact same but that could just be me so I'm just gonna take I guess this fourth one it's like a gold shade and we'll see how it is they look very pretty in the palette so we'll see how it applies on the lid okay elf and this palette was ten dollars so that's kind of expensive for elf cosmetics you know when everything else is like three and six and even a dollar but um i do think the pigmentation is pretty good not bad i gotta think about that palette i don't know if i like it yet <laughs> i'm gonna go in with these vegas nay eyler luxe collection golden goddess lashes these are new um i have not seen these anywhere else except for target i'm gonna apply these really quick and then i'll be back and i do have a false lash tutorial on how i apply my false lashes so i will link that down below so you guys can check it out so the next thing I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Aqua Primer Mist. This is a setting spray but also a primer spray. So basically you can spray it before your makeup and then after your makeup. Ooh. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Foundation Serum. I did see the e.l.f. HD Foundation but I have tried that one out before and it is more on the matte side which I don't like matte. So I decided to go in with this foundation. I got the shade Deep. This foundation only comes in light, medium, and deep, but the HD foundation that Elf Cosmetics has comes in like 12 shades, I think, so that's good. Also, I'm going to be using the Elf sponge. 
Um, I will say when it was dry, it was extremely hard, like a rock almost. I did wet it so it's a little bit more bouncy, but it definitely does not feel like a beauty blender. It's pretty stiff, so we'll see how I like it. Mm. Okay, so this might be like super light coverage, which I don't like. <laughs> All right, so I feel like the sponge is taking away a lot of the product. So I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild foundation brush and just stipple this onto my face. The color matches, but it definitely has more of a neutral undertone. And I would like to say that I'm more like yellow, so warm undertone. But this is kind of like my shade, but gray. <laughs> so I don't know about this. Now that I think about it, I probably should have just got the HD foundation because this is like no coverage let's see and it has SPF in it so um, I'm pretty sure this is just supposed to be used for like maybe a BB cream or something like that because I'm having to like pile on a ton of foundation to get some coverage if I'm gonna put makeup on I always do full coverage I'm not gonna put like a tinted moisturizer on or anything like that just because I'd rather just not make wear makeup but this one, unless you want to sit here like I did and apply three layers, I wouldn't get this. <laughs> but it does look nice and like healthy finish. I wouldn't say dewy, but like a healthy finish of the skin. Like it doesn't look matte, but it's sitting on the face nicely. And I did moisturize before I put my foundation on. I'm not a big primer person. I just like to moisturize before I do my makeup. For concealer, I'm going to be using the HD Lifting Concealer. I think I have tried this in the past, but it's been a long time. And I got the shade Medium, so we will see if this is a good shade. See how cute this is? I'm pretty sure this concealer is only $3, and like the packaging is so cute. Like, I'm just here for Elf. I just feel like for us to only pay $3, 6 a dollar um, for stuff like this, like they really do come up with good packaging and good quality products so I'm here for it oh right off the bat I really like this <laughs> it's like full coverage okay the only thing is this um, applicator is super small so I know I'm gonna be sitting here for days trying to put this <laughs> concealer on I just wish it had like more products came out let's see see I'm having like dip in here blending this concealer out I do really like it so far I feel like it's a lot full coverage I mean I had some freckles speaking through and it covered it right up and it's a really lightweight so for the coverage to be this good it's super lightweight and it doesn't look like it's gonna like crease under my eye cream contour I'm gonna take the elf cosmetics foundation palette again these foundation palettes are really good for them to only be six dollars I really stand by them I use this product in my highlight to contour video, so I will link that down below so you guys can check that out. But I have been on to the foundation palettes. They're like super good. You can just use them for a variety of different things. So I really like them. And fun fact, Elf Cosmetics and like BH Cosmetics was like the first brands that I used when I first got into makeup. Like so I feel like I'm an OG of cosmetics lover <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder you guys know that I can't stare away and honestly I don't really mess with Elf cosmetics setting powders they are extremely like white cast like if you want flashback girl try the Elf cosmetics setting powders all of them the yellow one all of them are like that so the yellow one the like um just HD white powder they all give flashbacks so just be very careful if you are using those because I don't recommend them at all. Another really good product from Elf Cosmetics that I've been on to is the pressed powders. They are really good. They have like at least 12 shades of the pressed powder. If you are going to use these to contour with, I would just make sure you use a light hand or you're going to have like mud on your face. Just be careful because they're super pigmented. But they have a really good pressed powder formula. So if you're looking for a powder to touch up with or to contour with even, um, I would definitely check out Elf Cosmetics press powders because they're really good and make sure to get that nose it's very important <laughs> so
So the next thing that I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Brush. They're just really good one tap and you have a good pigmented blush. They're just honestly amazing and these are the only palettes that I keep in my makeup artist kit for my clients. So I definitely highly highly recommend the e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Palettes. You get four blushes and they're six dollars. Back to my eyes I'm going to go in with this burnt purple shade and just run this on my lower lash line. And I'm not going to do eyeliner today. I'm just running this on my lower lash line. Ooh. <laughs> God, I keep dropping everything. For a highlighter, I'm going to use this Moonlight Pearls Baked Highlighter. I have never seen this before, and it says new. So we're going to see how it works out. Swatching it, it was like super dry, but on the cheeks it doesn't look bad. And it gives off like a nice glow. You guys know I go overboard with highlighter. Can't help it. <laughs> For lips today, I'm going to be using the Day to Night Lipstick Duo and Need It Nudes. This is new and it's like a double stick wand looking thing. Oh, that's cute. So it's like this and it comes with two lipsticks. Oh, it smells so good, like candy. So one side is like super nude and the other side is more of like a warm nude. I'm going to go in with the lighter side and see how it works. But it smells so good. Oops. Oh, it's pretty. And I've never, I've never tried Elle Cosmetics lipsticks before, but this is nice. It's more of like a satin finish, definitely not matte. And it's super creamy. So that is the makeup look. I just want to give an overview of the products. So right off the bat, I am here for this eyebrow gel. I think it is very similar to the ABH Dip Brow. Even the shade Medium Brown is the exact same shade as Medium Brown and ABH Dip Brow. So if you guys are looking for a cheaper dupe, here you go. As far as the Prism eyeshadow palette, I don't really know if I like this. I feel like four of these shades are the exact same shade. Like, I don't understand why they would put four golds in one palette. But, you know, that's none of my business. So, I really don't really like it that much for 10 bucks. I feel like it could have been a little bit more pigmented. I would just have to pass on that. It's not that great of a palette. If you're looking for something to even out your skin tone a little bit and kind of give you more of a, like, natural skin fresh looking face I would definitely go ahead and get this because as you guys can see my face looks flawless I really do like it it's just not enough coverage for me I love this concealer I feel like it's definitely on the full coverage side but it's extremely lightweight so I was not expecting to like this that much but I'm here for elf and this will definitely be in like my concealer rotation and I'll definitely use this again as far as the foundation palettes I do recommend these I think that they are a great deal for six bucks you get four foundation shades and they have a light one and a medium one so I really do like these I think that they're very versatile you can use them as concealer cream contouring as foundation just anything so I think that elf was really good at creating something like this that is super super cheap but good quality this blush palette is amazing I love elf blush palettes again these are the only blushes that I carry in my makeup artist kit I feel like you could get both palettes and you'll have enough blushes to last you a lifetime and I love these pressed powders they are extremely pigmented nice and creamy they go on nice and they blend very very easily uh, they have a ton of shades that you guys can choose from this one is in the shade cocoa I'm pretty sure these are about three dollars so you can't beat three dollars for a pressed powder like far as the highlighter I do like it I feel like it gave me a nice glow but I just wish it was a little bit more pigmented and then also more blendable because I feel like it's nice but I feel like it's kind of just sitting in one spot like it didn't really blend out that easily as far as the lipsticks I'm here for this and I really like how you get two lipsticks in one so I think that's a really good idea one side is lighter and the other side is more of a deeper nude so I really do like these I do love this primer mist so far I think that it went on the face beautifully it has such a great mister like you can get a ton of mist out of it and that is really my pet peeve when mist like you spray it and it just gets stuck on one side of your face and you're just like um that's not supposed to happen I like how it sprays out and the fact that it covers the entire face without having to do like so much work so that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed I love Elf Cosmetics some things are really good and some things are kind of like ugh. but overall I really did like some of the products that I used today and I'll definitely be using them again 
let me know what other brands you guys would like to see i love doing one brand tutorials like i think they're so cool like you do your entire face using one brand i just like watching these kind of videos so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys